go on the line and talk to Ikea back. Give thanks, Kobe, for sorting it out. Quick and fast. 25 going into the R2 on a sassy radio. My name is King Lagazi. Fly away. This dub is expensive, man. You can't get it for cheap. <laughs> so, so Ikea, I was, I was asking about um, the fact that at a point in time, yourself, Sugar, Sharita, and among other female artists in Jamaica stood up to the core of reality that, yo, female artists need a chance. Because in terms of even rhythms and all that, you remember that you, 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 you find out that when the rhythms, you know, kind of, you know, come out, you see it's kind of male dominated and all that kind of thing. And you guys stood up yeah. and said, no, the females, you know, need a chance. You know, what happened to that movement? Because it looked like of late, I, I don't see that again. You don't see that movement again? Yeah, I don't see that I movement mean again. We've always been defending the rights of female in regards to getting a chance. Um, as you said before, when you listen to rhythm, um, it's just male dominated. Like it's just only males, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you know, me and Sugar, we really did a song in regards to standing up for that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, I like the change now because you're seeing a whole lot of females out there now. There's mm -hmm. a whole lot of females who are dominating now out there. Mm -hmm. You know, but um, it's just sad because there's so much talent mm -hmm. and Jamaica has so much talent. Right. But they're not being heard. And because it reached to a point where it's who knows who. And if you don't have a strong backative behind you or funding behind you, you're lost out there. Mm hmm. You understand? So that's why I keep saying it's not about talent. And there's so much talent in Jamaica, but the voices are not being heard because they're not, they don't get the chance. You know, so we have to big up people like King Lagazi who, you know, bring them out to the world for them to hear that your talent do really still exist. Definitely. Uh, um, um... One time when you see shows, it's just beer meals, beer meals, beer meals. But no, as I say, you know, and it's it's much easier now because everybody's coming out with their own productions and everybody you know it comes up on where they don't need and they everybody's mostly doing independent stuff now. So as it as, and it comes right back to social media again, the mm -hmm. platforms out there mm -hmm. that's helping you to push your career. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> all yeah. Right, all right. So talking about um female artists in, in, in Jamaica now. I would like to know, you know, the situation of people trying to take advantage of them because uh, maybe a producer or um, they want to give you a break or something and you go and they will say, yo, before I would do this and that and that ABCD <laughs> for you, you, you know that I, I, you know how the thing I goes. Mean that, I mean, that still exists. It still exists? I think um, the time, things and times have changed and people have a while you know wise though and as i said it comes back to where you don't have to like say yo because at one point there were certain producers who say oh my god i have to work with this person he's the one that is hot i want to work with him people are putting out their own products now okay all right you understand but those things do still exist where people are um you know females are really still being taken advantage of in that way all right all right, all right. Let's move to this IKEA. Um, seriously, me following you on social media, I'm like, all of a sudden, I could see IKEA over here, over there, especially when you started moving with Desta. Tell me, mm -hmm. tell me the relationship between you and Desta Dabs because this thing look too, I don't know, it look too sexy, you know. Too. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Boy, I mean, know. all right. The thing I is, as you know, we do have a chemistry. Well, no, I do. <laughs> we have a great chemistry, which mm -hmm. is unmatched. Definitely. Um, 
this me and Dexter we coming from way 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 back mm -hmm. um I mean nosy neighbor was the first singer that you heard with both of us but um back in what was it 2015 or 2000 was it something like that we had a song he called me at one point saying that he had a song that he wanted us to do and that was during the death seeker time in regards to you know they wanted me to be on a track with him unfortunately yes we recorded the song but the song didn't came out mm -hmm. in 2000 and what 19 mm -hmm. He linked me up and, you know, um, you know, as I said, we're great friends from way back, you know, mm -hmm. seeing, seeing if Ikea is good and everything. And I said to him, you know, I have a song that I want us to do. And him say, for real? I'm going to say, yeah, of course. Him say, what kind of song? So when me, me say, all right, then we're going to make you hear the idea. So I'm say, all right, then demo the idea. So me demo the idea and said to him, he was like, what? Is that you are singing? <laughs> <laughs> so said, what do you mean if me want to sing this? I've been doing this type of music. Wow. So I said, you sure you want to do this? Yeah. Lord God, they're going blame you know. <laughs> so I said, blame you for what? <laughs> so he's like, oh my God, I am in love with the song. I'm in love with the song. So we went to the studio to finish up the song and everything, and he was so in love with the song that he wanted it for his Vent okay. album. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. And uh, we put it on the Vent album, and the love that we have gotten from that record is amazing. He said that he wanted me to come on the road with him. We, I started to tour with him and promote the record, and uh, trust me, the love that we got out there in regards to, you know, it's so amazing and it's an honor you know to grace the stage with another talented artist you know because the chemistry is there everything so i mean when times on a tour i've been on it and it's 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 great all right so so people would like to know because i don't know whether the chemistry you guys you know um um got is maybe just for showbiz, or it got to be young showbiz. King <laughs> Lazy. Yeah. I don't believe that he was the right person <laughs> for the song. He is the right owner for these sexy songs. Yes, I. <laughs> yes, that's my G, and he'll forever be my general. All right. You understand what I'm saying? All right. All right. So, and, as I said, big up to, to, to Triple, who produced this song. Definitely. Definitely. You know, from Down by Jungle. All jungle, right. big up from Jungle. He's a producer for the song Nosy Neighbor, a great production. I mean, trust me. Um, that song is like each time I perform that song, it comes like I'm doing gospel. Mm -hmm. Like the whole connection is 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 just, you know. So and then afterward, no, we decided after the tour, you know, I put out a song called Me General, which is produced by by Sponge okay. Music. Mm -hmm. Big up to Sponge Music. Um, that wasn't our first time working on a record. I did a song called Take Him also with Sponge, which reached like 2.2 million views now on YouTube. And also it's trending on TikTok. Wow. But um, I did a song called, after the Take Him song, he sent me another rhythm. Say you wanted me to voice. So I did a song called Mid General. Right? Mm -hmm. So there's really an official track for the song Mid General. All right. When Dexter heard that song, he fell in love with the song and said that, yo, he wanted to do the remix. remix. Okay. So he went on social media. And when he went on social media, he did a video clipping of him, you know, saying, yo, I can't, you can't leave me out of the remix. I saw that. And he, you saw that, right? <laughs> yeah, I saw that. And when he, he, when, when he put that up, it's like, everybody, everybody was like, yo, you have to put it there in my DM. You have to put the general on the remix. I will put the general on the remix. And I was like, no problem, because that's my G, you know what I'm okay. saying? And then we just went into the studio and make it happen. So it's anything to please the fans. And that's how Mid General Remix came about, because there's really an official audio um, song, original song that is there for the remix. Okay. So, yeah, that's All how right. that's how the remix came about. 34 got into the R2 here on Assassin Radio. Amazing. So on Facebook, 
I have Kwame Malcolm asking a very important question. He said, so really, Waterhouse is a is base for reggae greats like um, Johnny, Man. Johnny Bobo Raid, um, Michael Ruff Rose, um, Dennis mm -hmm. Duke Simpson, and many more. Many more great. Mm -hmm. How did that impact her? You know, that is a great impact to me because I'd I, be up to be the man also. Cause be the man is like, you know, he's from where I'm at, you know, like right around the, 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 the corner, you know, from where my parents, um, mm -hmm. you know, my grandfather, them people there, right around the corner, be the man used to there. So um, when I was in Waterhouse, I used to like peep through the window. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was peeping through the window because the man used to keep a stage show right on the same road that, you know, I live. Mm -hmm. And But I couldn't go because I was so young at the time. Okay. I was so young at the time. And uh, I just remember always, you know, peeping through the window just to, you know, and the music, you know, used to sweep me from just being in my room, just listening. And I said, yo, that's going to be me one day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's going to be me one day. Because as I say, I've always had a passion and a love for music. Mm -hmm. That's where my heart is. You know, I couldn't see myself doing any other else thing, you know. Um, so, I mean, it has impacted me in a way, a, a great way. All so, right. you know, to know that I am from a community with so much greats. All right. So, um... Let's step into this before uh, we wrap up. You know, this month of October is Breast Cancer Awareness, uh, you know, Awareness, you know, month. Easy. And seriously, if, if you check the Bible, if you're a biblical person and you check the Bible, the only thing that God said in the Bible that to satisfy man is the breast. And, ser <laughs> <laughs> and seriously, this month, we, you know, this... Breast cancer thing is kind of worrying a lot of uh, women, and some even have it, and they don't even know. You understand me? So, um, what exactly do you have to tell our our ladies out there to do in this particular month, IKEA? I mean, oh my God, for all the victims out there of breast cancer, my love goes out to you. Um. For us women, we just need to start doing regular checkups. We need to be at the doctor doing a whole lot of checkups and start eating healthy, workout. That's what I could suggest, you know, in regards to we just need to do regular checkups. Saying, saying. And, and, and a doctor. Change our diet and try to eat healthy. Definitely. Definitely. So, and a doctor friend was also telling me that, um, you know, the lady should allow, you know, men to, you know, kind of. You see, <laughs> crazy. I was waiting for you. I was waiting for you. Uh, oh, you, you should do that. Now the man to do more so needed, you. right? A lot more uh, needed. I, I am not saying that you are saying it. I can't. Crazy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> So, um, oh my, God. my ladies out there, please, let's take this very, very serious. You understand? Let's do the checkups. Yes, check we should. Mm -hmm. We should take it very serious because yeah. since of lately, um, there's so much going on. Definitely. So get your checkups, lady. Really go out and get your checkup. Regular checkups. All right. So, um, Ikea, what do you have new that you want the people of Ghana and Africa and the world to know? And what exactly do you have also in the future line? I don't want to say pipeline because sometimes when you open the tap, it doesn't flow. So what do you have in the future line <laughs> <laughs> in terms of letting the whole world know that, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to come with this, I'm going to come with that and all that? Oh, my God. There's so much in the making right now. As I say, you know, Tekim is out. The video is out for that song. I've been getting so much love. It's an, it's, it, They say it's a national anthem. It's a national female anthem. Mm -hmm. The song called Tekim. It's trending on TikTok. It's 2.2 million um, views on YouTube. Um, I also have the mid-general video out. We haven't done, me and Dexter, we haven't done the um, video for the remixes yet. Mm -hmm. But um my general video is also you can also check that out i just recently um released another song called cat in the back of the yard by stars plus 
the video for that is out also. But I have so much in the pipeline, which, you know, I'm about to release just more music. Wow. Wow. Yes, so and I'm excited about it. A lot of persons have come to me and said, oh, why don't you put out an EP? Why mm -hmm. don't you put out an album? I have enough song could do that. But for now, I'm just dropping singles. Why? You know, because it's been long overdue, Ikea. You know, EP, album. It's long know. overdue. I'm <laughs> considering it to yeah. use, um, you know, to put together a body of work in regards to even with some of the, the old Ikea and, and uh, you know, the new. Mm -hmm. Oh, and some new music also. But I have a whole lot of new songs that I could put together to do, to, to, to make an album, more than an album. You know, so I'm considering it to even drop like an EP. All right. So, right. And, uh, you know, uh, maybe some of your favorite artists might be on it. I don't know. All right. Uh, so so <laughs> when exactly should we expect this particular um, EP? I do not about? want to give you a time because I'm still deciding. Okay. Because a lot of persons have been coming to me saying that, okay, they want it now. They want it now. So it's for me to just decide on when. I haven't decided that yet. Okay. All right, I care. Yeah. Easy. All right. You were supposed to but be... But just check out the new music. King Lagazi and... King Lagazi, make sure you play the antenna them for the ladies, them. Of course. And for the real general, them out there. For them, make them know them a real general like yourself, a real general. You don't see it. Z. I saw a serial <laughs> Trust me. No, I'm definitely going to give you that that that, that song and dub because I know it says... <laughs> I always supporting brand IKEA. Definitely, definitely. So you were supposed to uh, be in Ghana in 2019 for a festival, mm -hmm. and seriously, um, unfortunately, that I couldn't didn't happen. get to because of I don't know something happened in regards to the promoter. Um, I was really looking forward to that also, but oh my God, hopefully very soon Ghana, because I think it's about time. You like he make it happen. Definitely, definitely. Hey. Definitely, because I'm looking forward to, to, to see my peoples. Definitely, you know. Mm -hmm. And as I said, just look out for more new music. Follow me on social media. It's IKEA. In, my Instagram is IKEA One Soul. I K A Y A One, which is the number one S O U L. IKEA One Soul. Facebook is IKEA Music. I K A Y A M U S I C. Yeah. All right. So uh, as Jabode said, he said, um, please. Um, let her do circumstances a cappella for me before she go. So, can we take that now? Hey. Circumstances? I, yo, I haven't performed that song in a while. <laughs> wow. That's one of your favorites down here? <laughs> yes. You know. You guys got to tell me what's your favorite song <laughs> of Ikea, no, my Ghana. That, definitely. So, you know, if if, if people like Jabba Day is telling me that let Ikea do circumstances, then know that you know, the work we're doing for Ikea over here is going down. Amazing. Yes. Big up, big up to all the persons that have been showing love. Big up to the fans over there. I love you so much. Circumstances gotta do it. Things she never thought she'll do. Stances gotta ruin. Turn a decent girl into a broken soul. I'm broken soul, broken soul. Back in high school, she a prefect, no nothing, she a head girl. Mm -mm, and <laughs> hey, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, no, I can see you have so, so much songs. You understand me? <laughs> yeah, so many songs. Like, so, and so much new songs. And I've dropped so much new songs and working on so much new project. But, I mean, that's one of those songs that we all go through circumstances. And mm -hmm. circumstances, some of the time, I know what we want to do, but it's called survival. Definitely. It's called survival and it's the hustle. So, Definitely. you know, your child have to go to school. I mean, food off a day in the house. So it's not because you want to do it, but it's because of circumstances. Circumstances got a whole lot of person doing things that they don't want to do. Sometimes you see a little young you go and say, with the gun, you really don't want to do it. Definitely. Definitely. But we just have to create more opportunities for them to not. Definitely. Definitely. You know? Oh, Definitely. that's one of my songs also, my go-to song. But trust me, 
Next time, I'm going to come and sing it for you. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. <laughs> uh, my songs when I'm down, like, it gives you hope. And that's one of the songs that inspire a lot of people. I can remember a lot, a lot of people come to me and say, yo, that song's, um, it gives me hope. It heals me. And I remember one time a, a, a girl, you know, DM me and she said to me, yo, I was about to commit suicide. Wow. And when I listened to that song, that song, you know, gave me hope again to live. Now. You know, so that was, that's one message. of the songs that was produced by Don Carleon. All right. So listen to this message coming from a renowned blogger in Ghana, you know, mm -hmm. and he's been doing this f for a minute. You understand me? Um, his name is Elombini. He said... Oh, hi! <laughs> <laughs> I know him. All right, good. So he said, yes. I just jumped into the section. Please, let her do Broken Wings a cappella for me. That song really fixes me each time I'm down. I cry listening to this song most often. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. And, and. I never give up. Even though it seems rough. Even though the weight is heavy. I manage to lift my hands up. Try to remove my stumbling blocks. My enemies faded in the wind. There's been obstacles in my life, but I never gave in, yet still I rise. Even with my broken wings, I still manage to fly away, yeah, on the wings of a pariah. I'm determined to survive, even through the darkest hours. I still see a light. I take a look into the horizon. There I found hope. I stare my struggles in the face. Cause I ain't scared anymore. I take my prize to my battle. Job by my side, I'm not alone. I hit my feet against the rock. And turn into a stepping stone. Yet still I rise, even with my broken wings, I still manage to fly away. Oh, the wings of fire can and my determined to survive, even through the darkest hours. You, I see you. Wow. Easy. Wow. <laughs> My time is running. I got to go. But, <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> seriously, a, a lot of questions are coming in. But um, let me take this last one. Um, coming from Stephen McCarthy from Ashaiman Lebanon Zone 5. He said, um, Lagazi, I want to find out whether she is single. She wants to what? He wants to find out whether you are single. Or, or attached. If I'm single, yeah. Music is my <laughs> man. <Easy. laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't. You're easy, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Long as the next time when we come by here, we can't do one hour. Of course, of course, of course, <laughs> of course. I have a lot of questions. But... Definitely, because I want to ask the right questions for my peoples of Ghana. Of course. Of... So next time we can, of right? Of course, of course. <laughs> of course, I care. And big up to the whole Asasi family. Blessed. Also for having me and King Lagazi. Yeah. Yeah, man. I'm so, grateful for that. Give thanks. Before I leave you finally, 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 your word of advice, especially to the female artists. <laughs> it's not an easy road. That's what I have to say. So don't come in this business and think like, say, yo, it's easy. It's not easy. And it's about knowing your circle. And uh, what I want to tell you also, do look over contracts. Don't just sign. And be careful who you trust. Also, be careful who you trust and who handles your business. You know, and 
as I said, just never give up and just go and pull, push, you know, and believe in yourself and believe in the Almighty that anything is possible. Right. And no make nobody stop you with them bad energy. Right. Just continue flying. All right, Akia, I would like to say thank you so much for your time and space. And we'll do this again, trust me. Easy. Thank you so much. All right. So let me play this one. Take him coming from Ikea. Ikea, thank you so much for your time. Oh!